well, what stuck out, me and him had a weird encounter for those that was in the Paris they could vouch for it or what or not. Uh, when he come on the tier, he didn't want to do any rapping because he's not a like rapper rapper for just to be rapping. Yeah. But me being from downtown, I wanted to hear something, you know, because <laughs> I had to purchase music from him before, you know, I was incarcerated. I had bought some of his albums and shit. So, you know, I wasn't feeling him not rapping. You know what you mean? You're not rapping. And you're older than he is. Well, yeah, still around the same age. Around the same age, okay. Yeah, so uh, I wasn't feeling that. So I'm like, you know, somebody get this nigga some beats or some shit. You're going to rap. You're going to rap. Rapping this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God bless the dead, but you know real shit. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Okay. Wow. So <clears throat> this was highly publicized. Mm -hmm. Uh, Soldier Slim mentions it in a song. Uh, it mentioned you guys in a song. Mm -hmm. How does uh, where? What time period was this? Well, Soldier Slim. Uh, I ran into Soldier Slim probably maybe around '96. Uh, he was incarcerated with me in Orleans Parish. We was incarcerated for this charge in '94. So we actually come through on the charge while we was on the tier already. Wow. So, so uh, how was he? Just, oh. just dealing with him. Oh, slim, slim, slim straight, bro. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people say this, that, not all. You know, the street gangster shit. He's a good dude, bro. Literally, he's a good guy. Just just firm, bro. He's going to stand firm on what he believes in, you know? So, uh, and anyway, we was pretty good people, you know? We fuck around with each other. Tell yeah. me something that he did that, because, you know, a lot of people say he was good, but I love to hear a story of something that he did that uh, you know that about. Stuck out. That stuck out. Well, well, what stuck out, me and him had a weird encounter for those that was in the Paris, they could vouch for it or what not. Uh, when he come on the tier, he didn't want to do any rapping because he's not a, like, rapper rapper for just to be rapping. Yeah. But me, being from downtown, I wanted to hear something, you know, because <laughs> I had to purchase music from him before, you know, I was incarcerated. I done bought some of his albums and shit. So, you know, I wasn't feeling him not rapping. You know what you mean? You're not rapping. And you're older than he is. Well, yeah, it's still around the same age. Around the same age, okay. Yeah, so uh, I wasn't feeling that. So I'm like, you know, somebody get this nigga some beats or some shit. You're going to you <laughs> you you rap. rap in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God bless the day, but you know real shit. You know, you're going to rap, but you're going to run something, nigga. I done spent, you know, and shit. All right. Yeah, I'm a fan. I rock, I rock with you. Shit. Yeah, you know. So he kind of respected the approach. It wasn't like he cowered out and did right. shit. You know, he respected the nigga come at him like that, you know. So he got out. From that point on, he got out. He really? The yeah, he rocked the tier. So he rocked the tier. Yeah, that's what he do. Because you guys locked up. Like, this is a freedom. This is a sense yeah, of this freedom. Is shit. Yeah, this yeah. is our shit, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, don't come in here and be caged. And, and, you know, act act like we can't, yeah, like we can't yeah, just be yeah, free yeah, in here yeah, the yeah, same yeah, way in the world. Yes, then he was that nigga. That, he was the artist at the time, you know? So I how, definitely need to hear that. How was he? Because you know how a lot of time when we listen to somebody on the records, they sound one way, but when you hear them in person, they sound a different way. No, that's slim. That's slim. He sounded the same way, that's both slim. ways. His language, when he talk, when he rap, it's all slim. Slim, his shit don't change. Don't change. His shit don't change. So when he when he rapped uh, during that time, was this before? Then after he came home, that's when he put y'all name in that song. I was in a parish with real niggas out the field. Cooter, Burnell, and Sydney. Yeah, well, he had a little incident, well... I don't necessarily necessarily think my name would have made the song or my co-defendants would have made the song due to the fact we from downtown. Slim is an uptown nigga. Magnolia. Yeah, all the way through. All the way through. He's an uptown you can respect real niggas, but you know he's all about his uptown thing. You know, he's not the one to just really be boasting about dudes from downtown. Yeah. But, uh him and a uh, guy in my neighborhood, which I'm real close to, is crazy. Which okay. one of the five or four boys, uh they had their little encounter. So with them having their encounter and me and him have already had met each other and him living on the till with me, you know, he just had to fix that in a manner where, you know, okay, I'm more with your project, bro, but at the same time, I know the real ones out there, you know, this, that, the third. Yeah. You know, but at the same time, you know, crazy not no chump either. He just, he's a brain. Yeah. He not a move, bro. He's smart, he's a brain, so. He just stay clear of the shit, bro. You know, he not a stay out of the way. He not an idiot. You know, so uh, he was smart enough not to take that walk. 
Wow, just a hey, spe- special shout out to my daughter who just sent me uh, her her straight A's, uh, and she ninety five to hundred all day, long, all day and uh, she in the twelfth grade, and uh, she want her three hundred dollars. I told Beautiful. her any <laughs> anything anything that she go up over ninety five in a subject. She get an extra hundred dollars. So she just hit me up. We about to send her that three hundred. She, she said, "She said, send me that three hundred now. <laughs> send her that three hundred. <laughs> send it to her, please. Less than that would be uncivilized. Yeah, send her the three. I'm <laughs> like, dang. She said, grades are, and she was, she couldn't wait on that. Yeah, mm-hmm. send her the three hundred. Go and give her money. Uh, she Indeed. deserve it. Congratulations. That's hard, man. That's man. Congratulations. Yeah. Man. That's <laughs> Sorry about that. All the time, man. Kids <laughs> first, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. man. So go, going back into the story, but by Soldier Slim, like. Yeah. When you think about how the city embraced him after mm-hmm. all of this, um, they should. you seen that coming. They should, yes, yes. He's the one, man. He was the one. I mean, if you, you needed the culture of the city, there's nobody that could really just wrap the whole culture of the city, the mentality of the city, and rap with Slim at that time. What? You know. When you think about Slim, that day when you you heard about when he got killed in front of his home, uh, mm-hmm. where were you? You were locked up, of course, mm-hmm. during that time. But what what ran across your mind? That was heartbreaking, bro. That was heartbreaking. But you can almost see it. You know what I'm saying? The way Slim lived. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you don't wish that on him. But you know, I mean, he was kind of erratic. And during that time, bro, you know what I'm saying? The city really didn't respect rappers like that. So Slim was the only one that kind of navigated through that shit, being a street nigga and a rapper at the same time. The rest of the rappers, we uh, would just look at them as How could rappers. you say the city didn't inspect rappers when you had Birdman from down here? I'm well, just giving you the question. You had you. Birdman that's from down here. Thing. You had Master P. You had that's, No that's, Limit. That's, that's, you that's, had all these guys down here. How could you say that the city didn't respect them when they had uplifted them? Okay, well, if you notice, when Birdman first come out during his mostly all his raps, he consistently tell you that I ain't a rapper. Well, yeah, I'm a gangster. Yeah. He, he did not want the rapper stigma. He don't want to rap a stigma. He won't rap a money, but he don't want to rap a stigma. That's that rapper, you know, I mean, generations as it's gone along, I mean, we embrace it now, but during those times, no, rappers was characters. Rappers were characters. Slim was one of the ones that made the exception around that time, yeah. Wow. So when you, because being that you were, you you know that era when Birdman and them first came out with uh, Cash Money, and I'm gonna ask you about mm-hmm. P two, but you was out, you was in the streets, right? Oh, yes, yes, I was. What what was something that stick out about that era for you when when Birdman and them came with? Because I know you hear the fact that he a gangster. Y'all down here, y'all live. Mm-hmm. He he actually from where is he from? He from he's from uptown. Uptown. He's from uptown. You, he he is uptown. Just put it that way. You can move across the board uptown. Okay, so. Yes. When you see him and that whole movement, what does that, how does that hit you? You like proud of him? It's beautiful. Yeah, very beautiful, man. You know, only thing I don't like is not seeing him and P P hook up. They never Mm. did hook up, did they? That's about the, you know, I mean, I understand the situation, the street situation. You know, I don't want to go into details of that with the two neighborhoods. But man, that 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 would be so uplifting. That would have been a big city. That's even right now, even what right now today. If Just they came the, together. Them guys to see. Them if Calio guys. came together with Uptown, is what yeah. you're saying. No, if they could see Master P and Baby and together. And Baby together. Do you Which think is Calio and Uptown, Uptown, right? Well, it's Calio and Magnolia. Magnolia, Magnolia. yeah. Yes. But do you think that there might ever be a time that they can put their differences aside to just do it for the city, to bring the city together? Well, I me mean, knowing the mentality of guys from New Orleans, it's a hard rock. That's a hard rock because, I mean, it's a lot of lives lost and a lot of things went on between, you know, different projects that, you know, wouldn't allow them to, to really just sit down and overlook all that shit. So, you know. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.